this is springtime <coughs> in Maine. Yeah, this is it. Figured I'd give you a little check-in what uh, springtime, March, what is it, March 26th, something like that, March 25th, I don't know, well, the other day, the sun was out, it was almost 50 degrees, I was out in a t-shirt, I had the hose out, and I was, uh, I was washing my wheels, Yep, washing my wheels, and then all of a sudden, 18 inches gets dropped right on us. So, that's what you get for living up north. Biggest snowstorm we've got all winter happens now in the spring. Dually, I don't know. I haven't tried, but looks pretty stuck. constant merry-go-round of moving vehicles around trying to move the snow out of the way keep the ramp truck clear keep the trailer clear had a quick pickup right before the snow and uh, didn't get unloaded before it happened Old furnace, old snow blower. Might run, don't know. Haven't tried. Too busy moving snow. The old uh, $300 2000 GMC has uh, done her job. Haven't really give you the rundown on this one yet, but we'll do another video on the whole explanation. Yeah. Had to replace the famous 2001 Silverado high mileage hauler. It's a sad day. We had to see it go. But that is in an older video that you may or may not have seen. But you can go back and you can check it out. But just uh, taking a little walk around, see uh, see all the snow, lovely snow. You know, you don't mind so much if you get it in the actual winter when it's supposed to snow. But we got lucky all season. Not too much. little whoopsie do on the tailpipe but uh busy with junk cars all the way till february and and then it just uh slowed right down for the whole month he had a couple but nothing crazy so it's been pretty slow as far as that goes Got random stuff just laying around I'm out here in the sun, cleaning some Mercedes wheels and tires and posting them online for sale. And then next thing you know, everything's covered in snow. Grills, scrap, and random items. 
Yeah. It was a uh, it was a blizzard. It was pretty. Uh, the wind was strong, and it went all day and night. Had one breakdown on the snowblower. fixed when it snows we uh, hide the old roadmaster inside just uh, one less vehicle in the driveway kind of keeps it out of the way and also it's uh, one more you don't have to clear off after it snows and uh, you know it's got that fancy glass roof and roof racks and it's Hard to hard to clean the snow off, kind of. Got yeah, random things, fancy little couches and things that just happened, you know, during the winter. And uh, lots of repairs. Well, I shouldn't say lots, but you know, little repairs here and there. The trucks, the old uh, Husqvarna snowblower. The stupid, uh, that little clearing stick there that it comes with to pick the ice up. When you know it, that comes off. I don't know it, and I run into it and get it caught up in the auger. When that happened, the, uh, the motor stalled out, and it kicked back, I think, and it knocked the uh, belt off for... The main drive so it took me a while to fish out the part side of the auger uh, didn't shear a pin or anything but and then it wouldn't drive so I had to push it back in the backyard inside here and put it in front of the furnace warmed up a little bit and uh, Popped off a couple covers and discovered the belt just popped off, so I got that back on and we were back out snow blowing. So Roadmaster stays on the road for the winter, but um, you know doesn't get driven in the messy stuff. We had a lot of uh, a lot of nice days this winter where you could go out for a ride and uh, you know it wasn't too bad. Walk onto the road. See what's going on over here. So over on the side, we got additional parking, and uh, got the 78 Suburban just waiting. Spent many years driving through the winter as a daily driver. Now it just only comes out on the nice days, get iced coffee. Apple fritters and stuff. That's all. That's all it does. Walk down my path. I had to make for the oil guy, and of course, the old forgotten '78 Broken Dreams farm truck. I had uh, come out kind of late in the winter. Usually I start these things up and uh, make some videos and stuff. But like I said, it was very, very busy this winter up till February. Uh, but I realized I 
the Suburban fired right up, no problem, like always. But that was that was still being driven up till probably close to the end of October, November. But this, the old farm truck, I didn't realize it when I went to start it up, and it ran good for a bit, but then it started really just running like crap, and uh, I said, man, that's weird, but then I realized when I got one of my uh, viewers left a comment, and they said, you know, you should really start thinking about putting some higher octane uh, fuel or some ethanol free fuel in these these old trucks you know when you store them and I said well I mean they're really not stored you know for a long time but then I came to realize that I didn't even put this truck on the road um, last summer so this is actually sat for two winters you know, sat for the winter before, the summer, and then uh, still sitting. So I think that, I think the fuel might have went bad in this one. I know the tank was full because uh, the gauge doesn't work, but uh, you might have seen in my other videos there. It's uh, She's pretty angry, and uh, now when I go to start it, it's just sort of, kind of popping and banging and definitely seems like um you know maybe some water some moisture got in the fuel or the fuel just went bad because uh the fuel cap doesn't really seal too good on the other side on the tank that works so i think the uh tank's gonna have to be drained on this one but no big deal just uh, kind of funny how I didn't realize, you know, how long it had sat. But, the Suburban's ready to go. I mean, she might have might have threw up a little bit of transmission fluid over sitting, which it usually does. But, that's a Turbo 350 thing. And, uh, she's ready to go. Pretty soon, all the snow will melt, and uh, we can drive out of here. Just the other day, I could have driven both trucks right out, no problem. There was nothing on the ground, but it's not happening now. The uh, town trucks, when they come by, they, they fly, and they shoot that snow in my driveway I mean it it almost comes up to the, the bumpers of the trucks here and uh, it's just crazy when you come out here of course you don't keep up on it in the night and uh, that wall of snow you know the you can see the white line that's where the road ends and uh, the wall of snow was right up over the mailbox and uh, if it wasn't for my neighbor has a uh, little Kubota tractor came in made a couple of passes uh, so that really helped out the only thing is he uh, hit the old mailbox here and uh, yeah found that laying over on the road so not too good, but what are you going to do? Someone's helping you out, they make a mistake. You can't really complain about it, I suppose. I don't know. What? Well, 
there you go. I hope uh, you enjoyed my little update video. It's the end of March, getting into April pretty soon. Be nice. Nice sunny days. Can have the power washer out. Can be washing trucks and cleaning and painting and doing all sorts of little projects and hopefully making money. Of course, now the people wait. They got the junk cars sitting around. They drag their feet. Now it snows. That's it. Now they sit until the snow melts. So. Hope everyone's doing good, and uh, I know a lot of a lot of subscribers that have been watching since the beginning. I'm still here, and I'm still watching. Don't ever forget. I don't. So. Pretty soon, see you on the streets.